bit about Val Body Bolt. You have the small, the medium, and the long. Now, I've got a video <clears throat> of taking the bolts out of the valve body. I also have a video of taking them out of the case. But the valve body is what we're concerned with here because I'm looking at the video of taking the valve body bolts out. I'm going to be putting them in a little bit differently from where they came out. I'm assuming that somebody's had the valve body out of this because small bolt and we took this apart we had the medium 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 small bolt medium medium a small bolt and then the long 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 and long well the long ones all make sense look how deep the holes are But, I don't know if, you, well, you can't see this on camera, but in, in real life, you're working on one. Look at yours. Look at your valve body sideways, and you'll see that the thickness of the valve body here and here is much thinner than any of these other holes. And these four holes are the longest, the thickest so obviously the long, the four longest bolts do go here, and that's where we took them out of. And obviously the two smallest, shortest bolts go here and here because these are the thinnest, shortest, you know, most shallow holes in the entire valve body. And then the medium ones go the rest of the way. And you also have a couple of brackets. There's going to be a bracket here and a bracket here for holding the wires. Which means this wire is going to route around here, go through the bracket, and down through this way. And the bracket's going to hold it from rubbing on here. So now we're going to have all four long ones. Remember, with any set of bolts, you never tighten any of them until all of them are in place. The two mediums that have brackets with them, one goes here. Oh, and this bracket has a little finger right here. And that finger to catch over here the idea is to catch this wire like so and hold it in place so it doesn't touch the linkage this one goes here And these are medium length bolts, not the long bolts, not the two short, shortest bolts. There are a total of four of the long bolts and six of these medium length bolts. These other two go right here. Six, six medium length bolts. bolts. Okay. And then the two shortest bolts here and here. <clears throat> now, 
I'm working with these bow bodies. I have a quarter inch speed handle with an eight millimeter for these little bolts right here. I hold these wire connectors and stuff and these brackets that hold the pins that hold the solenoids. I have a 10 millimeter socket on a regular speed handle. There, I think that'll be better for all of us. Y'all can see and I can get in here. I'm just running these down at this point. And there's a reason why I still don't use any electric or anything like that with bow body bolts or any bolts that are this small. I really like to be able to feel how much torque I'm putting on these things. I'd like to be able to feel too if there's any resistance which would indicate there being some kind of problem. Like something caught in between the valve body and the case or something wrong with the threads. Okay, now we'll go back over it. Okay, torque. Torque. What I'm going for is about 20 foot pounds here. Which is, if you have not done thousands of units, you need to get out the torque wrench. Now I want to let you get a good look at where all the wire connectors and Wire harnesses go. Right. Obviously, you're going to have to be careful when putting the pan on where these two harnesses come out. And you're going to have to be careful of moving this around once we get the linkage in and get it to stay right where it's supposed to be. But most importantly, see the two colors for the first solenoid. Black and white on the second solenoid. Colors for the third solenoid. Fourth solenoid. Fifth solenoid. The sixth solenoid. And then you have temperature, sensor, the first switch, speed sensor, connector, another switch, another speed sensor connector. Now obviously these speed sensor connectors are color matched. That makes that a lot easier. And they're vastly different colors. Even I can see this. I may not be able to tell you whether that's yellow or orange, but I can tell you that is some kind of blue. I'm 
Okay, I found that this wire bracket works so much better. If you turn it around, instead of it being this way, turn it around facing this way. So that it holds that wire away from the linkage. It does not allow it to touch the linkage or be rubbed on by the linkage. See, and it does have a gap between it and the linkage rod. And you put it in there that way. And now it's holding the wire in such a way there's no way that wire can get over here and get in the linkage. There's no way that wire could get up and get into the linkage. And it can go anywhere it wants to and still not rub on the wire. This bracket still seems fine in the position that I found it when I took this apart. Like I said before, it's looking more and more like somebody at least had this valve body off before I took it apart. Looking at this and how things make sense and looking back at the video of where I took the valve body off, there are some differences. So we're going to tackle these bell housing case bolts. This is what we're up against. Very long, long, medium, <clears throat> and then all the shorter ones, and then the two special ones. And the extra long goes here, and I don't know if you can see this, but I had put an XL right here. Of course, I've got the gray silicone all around here on my ceiling surface. The long one goes right here. And I'm sure you can't see this on the camera, but there's an L scratched right here. The long one. The medium one goes right here. Then the two with studs on them go here and here. You have 16 of these shorter ones. And these are all 12 millimeter heads. Just go down in the bell. Last one, do no ultimo. I started these too because they're really close to the Dowel pins.
Again, this kind of stuff I like doing with the speed, speed handle by hand because I can feel if anything seems wrong. I can watch and see if anything doesn't look right. And I can stop before there's any damage. Whereas with a even a small air gun or electric impact, by the time you notice something's wrong, you've already caused damage. When I get all these run down, then I'm gonna come back along and tighten them the rest of the way. Some of these are gonna require a swivel socket or even a wrench in the case of this one back here in the back to do the final torque on it. Swivel socket. Run it down a certain amount with a ratchet wrench. Once it's down far enough, it's barely enough room for your swivel socket to get in there. Then you can go back and do a final tightening. Again, we switch to the swivel socket. Then you'll have these three short bolts for the filter. Of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. And the pan bolts, so. Like and subscribe and share our videos. Remember, sharing is caring. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Put your questions down below. Until next week, get off the couch and get dirty.